How the crocodile got his sharp teeth. Before there was man nor woman, there were animals. Back in those days, the world looked very different. Deserts in Florida, swamps in Arizona. Animals also lived in different parts of the world. In a bamboo forest located in the southern part of New Mexico, there lived a very cocky croc. All day long, he would prance around the biggest, most beautiful bamboo tree he could find with his long, lanky legs, bragging about how special he was being the only reptile with flat teeth. Finally, one day, Fox and the rest of the animals got so tired of it that they made a plan to somehow abolish the croc's teeth. Let's hit him in the head with elephant's giant tusks, said Badger. But Elephant was much too scared to face Crocodile. Is there anyone who isn't afraid of Crocodile? I'm not, exploded Monkey. Everybody laughed at the thought, but no one else would step up. And then, when all hopes were lost, Alligator showed up. Surely he was the man for the job. Alligator was strong, fast, and he was big. Really, really big. It was a classic brother versus brother matchup. They met at Peace Valley that morning. The wind was blowing cool spring air, and the cherry blossom smelled amazing. The fight started, and they were absolutely killing each other. Crack, pop, It burns, it burns so bad, yelled Crocodile. Ow, exclaimed Alligator. My teeth, my wonderful teeth. What a tragedy, said Alligator in a very sarcastic voice. My smooth, velvety skin, it's gone. His back, now all wrinkled because his back, because his leg bones were shoved into his back, now looked like the rocky shore of Maine. That is why crocodiles have sharp teeth, stubby legs, and have rocky looking backs. That's also why they're always in such a bad mood.